Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Donna from Purple Pinky Promises. And I'm going to sit here for just a second and wait for everybody to get their notifications that I am live. I have a little work going on here in the store. <laughs> okay. Well, I am, I'm gonna do a rundown of what I have here in front of me. Um, let's start with this yummy paper. We all love pretty paper, right? And we always need more, right? <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> anyway, this beautiful paper comes to us from Catherine Pooler Designs. And I have selected this paper because Catherine Pooler takes the guesswork out of um, all the matchy-matchy. So basically what we have here is, um, and she lists here on her uh, paper pads, what matches this paper Pad. So we've got um, matcha and we've got wintergreen and we have skylight and we have polished and we have apricot and we have buttercream. And some of these are neutral colors. Well, this I think is, is this the only neutral? Yeah, this is the only neutral. This is a neutral. It is a yellow kind of color and you'll see here, I've already pre-stamped and die cut some of these. So that background color is, um, it's kind of a peachy yellow color. And so this is buttercream. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. And uh, let's see. This one is stamped with the apricot and polished. And we've got some leaves here. This one is stamped in the background with wintergreen. And the veins are stamped with skylight. Okay. And then on this one, we have the leaves stamped in the background with matcha. I'll bring this up higher and then this one is the veins vein on this uh, leaf is stamped with skylight so if you're catching the replay um, there you go and I am gonna demo uh, I'll go back through that again I'll demo a, a flower and I will demo um, a set of leaves so uh, there's this beautiful paper from this gorgeous set and that's, I have picked out, let's see, I've picked out this polka dot and I picked out this rose pattern and we also have this pretty pattern here. It has a little um, stitch, look, they look like stitch X's there. I know nobody is probably here with me because they all think I'm gonna be late today. I'm actually early. <laughs> So most of you are probably gonna catch this on the replay. All right, so I have showed you some of the leaves and the flowers. I've already pre-stamped. And those leaves and stamp flowers come from this set from Catherine Pooler. It is the, um, I've covered up my, the name of my stamp set. It should be on here, but it's not on the front. Let's look on the back. I've got it all covered up. I believe that's roses and lace. Nope, roses are red. This is the roses are red stamp set and the dies that coordinate, and we're gonna use some of this. Hello, thanks for the like to whomever gave me the like button, thank you. So um, yes, that's the stamps and leaves that were used, and the sentiment also comes from this as well. I only inked up the sending. There's a nice little space there so that um, I had plenty of room to ink up on my Versafine player. I just inked it up there to the just the sending, and then I inked up all my the whole sentiment on my left, and I stamped it right beside it, and that was that. Um, 
I cut out that die and I used this longer, um, thinner die from the Mini Borders die from Dare to Be Artsy. And I kind of left it, I stamped it um, close to the edge of the paper so that I could have a little bit off the edge. I'm probably gonna tuck a flower on that part right there. So that's kind of the plan. So that end part didn't matter. I didn't have to realign it and make it shorter. It was good to go. Then our background, I'll talk about the background here. I cut a piece of white cardstock with this largest die and it measures perfectly to be the first layering piece on an A2 card. So you have a nice little border around the edge. And so I cut one from white cardstock. I cut a whole piece with this pattern paper and I cut a whole piece with this pattern paper. And then I cut this piece to measure, I believe this one is two and a half. I believe, yes, two and a half. And of course it's already that guy. So I cut it down to two and a half. And this one I believe is cut down to um, two and three quarters to make it five and a quarter. So that it'll all line up here perfectly on this background piece. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some ribbon around this. And I, we're gonna create some ribbon that matches our project tonight. So I'm gonna show that to you as well. And so that's how I got all of that. And that's the rectangle framelits from Dare to Be Artsy. Um, I do have a butterfly. It is cut out from the Spellbinders Delicate Butterflies. That's this little um, butterfly right here. We might use it, we may not use it. I don't know. I cut one out because I thought it would be pretty to use. And then we have our, of course, we have our um, Spellbinders hot air balloon. And I'll tell you folks, this is actually meant to be 3D and you can use it for, um, uh, I'll show you a little bit close up here. So this is meant to be, um, have some depth to it so that you can create something that sits up um, um, as a 3D project. That's, that, thus it's called the 3D vignette hot air balloon. Well, you can also use it on a card. You don't have to do the 3D with it. It's really cool just by itself. And that's what we're doing tonight. I'm showing you that this is a very versatile set, has lots of other uses. So, um, and I have cut out all my pieces. I have used, let's see, let's show you that here. Um, this gold card stock. It's very, very, very gold card. <laughs> you see my reflection in it. This is the basil, and um, it is the gold foil cardstock. It is cardstock. It is a thicker, very thick quality, and it's nice and shiny, and it's pretty. I like it. Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm gonna just let you know that when this is cut, um, it cuts out this middle piece as well, but, and of course these pieces come out, and you can um, you can do what you like. You can do different things. But what I did was I kept this middle piece. I cut this whole piece out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So when I cut this, I lined these two pieces up because this is only the, the centering point of this, okay? This does not cut out separately. Just to let you know, to get this, you must line this up in here and get it all even, tape it down, and then run it through, okay? But you also have this background piece, which cuts this part out, which is really nice because it gives you versatility. So I ran that through, and I kept the centerpiece because it, it does come out, and I have taped it down with some double-sided tape to hold it into place. I could have poked out that little piece there, but I kind of liked it left in. It just kind of looks like a detail and I really like it. Um, so that's been left in, all right? And then of course we have our background and we're just gonna glue this over here, just like this. Now, I, John, <laughs> with John, I was like, should I, shouldn't I, what should I do? I wanted to do a shaker. Good evening, Lindy, hello. 
How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Linda. Hello. Yay. Thanks for joining me, everybody. So if I wanted to do, I decided not to do a shaker because I did a shaker last week. But if I did, I could cut some acetate with this, with this die right here, just like I cut this piece. I could cut out some acetate and then glue it to this piece and then take my double-sided foam and go around uh, this edge here. Now, let me tell you, what I would do though is I would put double-sided foam here and here and create your little shaker only in these little pockets here. And so nothing can go through. Plus, you also have a way to keep those bits and pieces from coming out if you were to go all the way to the edge there. So if using, that's how I would do it if I were to do a shaker. So you could create a shaker out of this. We're not doing that though. So there's that. And I think I have all my bits and pieces ready to go and we're ready to assemble this card. How exciting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get my base ready to go because, um, because, <laughs> because, because. And, and then I'm gonna do my ribbon. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Uh, probably gonna, I'm, I actually grabbed some gloves so that I wouldn't have um, bright red hands for the next two days. So, um, as usual, I leave the, the stopper off of my glue and here's what happens. All right. So this is our bottom piece. This is our top. Okay, let's, well, did I? Just trying to get my, my glue unstopped. I need to peel it off there. All right. Come on, there we go. Here we are. Okay. Woohoo, maybe. I'm pretty, I'm loaded. Y'all, I think I have a, a serious problem. I need, I need somebody to come work for me in the store and just keep my glue lids on, right? <laughs> keep the glue from drying out. <laughs> See, here I go again. All right, I may have to go get a different bottle of glue. This is going to keep this up. I think I have pushed down in there something that should not have been pushed down. But I've got enough, I think, to go on for this. And let's get my topper on. All right, it is on. All right, come on, out you go. Let's stop misbehaving, then, shall we? That's it. Now I hear it. I hear the air. Woo! All right. Let's make sure I've got that. I don't want that. I didn't cut that very straight, did I? Well, luckily we're getting ribbon on here, right? There. Let's make sure it's straight. One or the other was not straight. do our ribbon. Here's our ribbon. So I have decided 
that I'm going to pull out this polished. So I want to do a bow and I want to do um, a piece that goes around here. So there's that. That I need that much for that. And let's do about this much for a bow. I'm going to go generous and not conservative. I want to make sure I have enough. Okay. So this is seam binding. White seam binding is great because if you, you can always color up your projects to match the color you need. All right, and here we are. I am going to, yes folks, I don't do this very often, but I don't want to run around with bright red hands for the next few days. I already washed my hair. <laughs> and if you're one of my one of my class people, you're gonna you know what that means. That just means um, that's what I tell you whenever you get your hands dirty and messy when you come to class. Um, I tell you, ah, uh, just go wash your hands or go wash your hair. It'll all come out, right? <laughs> so, all right, we're just gonna run this through. Come on, like that. We're gonna get this. Get the ribbon inked up. Now you see why I put on the gloves? Because I put on my gloves. <laughs> because we're gonna make a mess with this. And Is. I did want it to have some saturation. So, yeah. Put that on the other side. And quiet. I've got John working over there really hard. He's really concentrating. He's putting, he started on our Valentine's Day. Well, actually, it's not all Valentine's Day. It can be birthday, too, if you wanted it to be, but our class for this month, he's over there working on it. Okay, folks. Um... I'm gonna sit here for now and I'll be right back. I just want to set this down and let it dry and I don't want it to get anywhere near it. Did anything. you say that you want some music? No, I did not say I wanted music. Okay. All right, we're gonna let that dry. That was one of the first things I wanted to make sure I did um, early. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. I made it, folks. I did it. Y'all are my witnesses that those gloves have ink and not blood on them. <laughs> okay. Clean that up. I'm silly. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> well, you know, with the world the way it is these days, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I am just going to go ahead and I am going to glue this. Down. See, I left my lid off again. Glue this down and peel off my backing. So I have a piece here. This is the 1 8 of an inch double-sided tape from Lawn Fawn. 
It was perfect. I didn't need anything thick. It was absolutely perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna put this down. I think I've got it. No. There we go. That looks good. Now it's down. All right. Yay. All right. I put on hand lotion before I started, and now my hands, there's greasy. My greasy paw prints are all over it. Okay. So I had to think ahead about this quite a bit. And I decided I'm also going to use my, my dies as a cheat sheet. Um, I had to think about this quite a bit, about how I wanted this to, um, how I wanted this to be. So I decided that I'm going to put, some of this is going to go down with glue dots. And you'll understand why when, when you see it. So because we are using like, this is slick. This paper is pretty slick. So I wanna make sure that we're able to get it down well, but we're gonna use glue dots. And then we're going to use, um, we're gonna use sequins. You'll see what I'm talking about. We're gonna kinda of cover up the fact that we've used glue dots. Um, we're gluing this slick paper to slick paper. So like, well, the backs of it's not slick. Back of it is not slick. It's just, see, you see what I'm saying here? It, 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 it takes a minute for it to, to really get down. And I don't want a big mess everywhere either. Okay, so. Which glue, glue, this glue does come off. It does not leave a big mess like other glues, but at the same time, I don't want a big mess. All right, so now I'm kind of looking here to see what I need to do, and I need to put this here. So this goes next. So I'm gonna glue this on, say a prayer that it stays. <laughs> gluing so far folks wahoo so I am gonna put down um, I'm gonna use glue dots and what did I do with my glue dots here they are we're gonna cover up glue dots with gems and sequins and I just thought it'd be a fun way to do this so I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go behind from here and create that. So that needs to come up. Take my scissors and pull that up. Come on. Let go. There's that one. There's that one. I don't want to bend. I don't want to bend my paper. Let's see. Yep, next one. <laughs> I tore it. So now I think I'm gonna use my fingers. There we go. one. 
Okay. Now we're going to put these down on this box. Like so. And our, we're going to use these pretty Venice. I thought these flowers, yeah, they may not be big enough. So I think we're going to go with the peachy, these peachy ones here. So we're not going to do this at every attachment point. We're just going to do it, I mean, up here that is. We'll see how well it, it holds down, but I just thought that would be really, really pretty if we attached it. And what, yep, that's what we're doing there. Get that out. We're going to attach there. Whoops. There. So that glue, glue dot, is picking it up and holding it. Whoops, I don't know if that's the same color, is it? a little lighter. It is a little lighter. It's not the same. Let's get that darker peach. I like that. There it is. Hi, Alora. Hello from Topeka. Well, hello from Platte City. Back to you. Welcome. All right, so this is what we have so far. We have our little hot air balloon. And I'll bend it up probably a thousand times before we get down onto paper. Okay, there is that. We're making progress. All right, so this is the top. And I am going, I am going to attempt to try to glue this down on this edge and this edge. And I am going to do... I think I'm going to take my glue dot off. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it off first and then attach it. To that. That's going to be a whole lot easier if we do it that way. So let's do that. I have a, something is stuck to my glue dot. What in the world is it? <laughs> yeah, much easier, folks. Better idea. Okay, let's do that. So maybe that's what we'll do instead. Yahoo. Sometimes it just takes struggling to figure it out. towards the end here. Yay. Okay. And I am going to do, I'm going to roll. Have you ever seen this little technique where you roll up a, a glue dot? I'm going to show you. You just roll it. Some people may not be familiar with this. You can just roll it. And you get it all rolled up and then you're gonna stick it right there just like that to hold that top down and now we have no glue dot showing hopefully you can barely see it all right this goes to the top it yep it sure does so we want those ends to meet side to side. And we're going to get that down. Perfect. Now, we're going to do more of the same. Or, yeah, I want them all the same. So we're just going to dig out those pretty, actually they're probably more like the polished color than they are anything else. Dig those out. Those are pretty. And I might go back in and, and try um, try some glue. And 
that one might be too rolled up over there. Yeah, that one's definitely catching the, the glue dot. I think I need a glue dot on that one, on the front side. Definitely needs a glue dot. All right. looking pretty very very pretty all right and I have this piece you could use this it's very very pretty um, it is something you could use and I could actually even tuck it probably underneath there and get it to catch I think I might try that and then just kind of yeah you could try See how that works? Is it? Is it catching? I don't know. Maybe I need to go further over. Catching that glue dot. Well, that's kind of cool. down here on the edges to kind of hold it or should we put it let's do that let's put a, a gem let's put a gem on each of these ends we could do one of these smaller ones couldn't we let's see what it looks like It, it, there's some buttercream looking ones in here. That's pretty. Let's give it a whirl. Why not, right? If we can, why not? Let's do it. That'll hold down those ends. I just spill gems or sequins. Not too bad, right? All right. There it is. That's pretty. And right, I need to tear that off, don't I? sound of exasperation <laughs> it sounds like it all right we're doing it so pretty all right. okay here we go this goes up here yep, just like that and you know what we could do? We could do these buttercream ones right there and this, with these to kind of tie it all and break it up. Let's do that. All right. Another round of glue dots. Finally, huh? Oh, I'm out. You okay over there, John? Zippity doo dah. Zippity oh my. <laughs> Are you going to sing it? Plenty of sunshine. Come my way. Zippity doo dah. Zippity <laughs> Woo! Good job, hun. Thank you very much. I love you. Thank you. I love you all. Right. Let's 
glossy. Let's try, let's try a little bit of glue there. I did not put my lid on, see? I'm the worst when it comes to that. I just don't know how well glue is gonna do. I mean, in a bigger area, yes, but in these little areas, not so much. All right. Let's hold it there. Here, <laughs> the wobbly. All right, let's go for these buttercream. Buttercream. Buttercream gems. That works. There's big ones and small ones. Try to find these small ones. Is my head in the way? Sorry, guys, if my head gets in the way. What in the world? <laughs> we have a cluster of sequins in there. I don't even know what that is. Yep, that's just a sequin. Some of this is probably going to even get cut, uh, covered up because of the sentiment being on here. But, oh well. Very, very pretty. John's over there having his staff meeting. Are you in charge of the uh, refreshments over there? Okay. No, I don't want any water. I'm good. Thank you. I still have water over here. You have done well today. Thank you. You have done well too. In fact, you've done overly well. You are like the bomb. Well, thank you. Okay. All of our gems are on there. Okay, so this piece I wanted to show you. I, I'm doing it up closer. All of those little pieces actually come out, but they stayed in and they could have come out. If I poked them out, really, they would have easily come out. But I wanted them to stay because it just brought a little extra fine detail. So I took that one eighth of an inch piece of lawn fawn and I, um, goes over there like this. I put it on the back to hold that in and now we're just going to tuck it right here on the front of this card if I can actually get that on there to stay. There we go. And there it is. Yay. So pretty, so pretty. It's moving along. Okay. So on this, hopefully that's drying. I may have to dry it with a heat tool. So now I I decided I just wanted to put flowers on here, here and there, just kind of tucking them in, layering them um, here and there. I just thought that would be so super pretty. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of I may have to see where we are. I also have my sentiment. Where did it go? Sentiment. I am gonna put it like right here. And then I want a flower kind of right over here. So maybe that's where the big flower should go, or maybe not. Um Over 
over just a smidge like so that's kind of pretty and then I had I was gonna demo um, demo for you. It kind of covers that up a little. I like those layers. Yeah, let's bring this up a little. Or should we bring it down here? And do our bow over here where, where the floral is. Maybe move that over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually, I like the way that looks. I am going to, so I'm going to do this. Bring this here. Bring these up just a little more. It's hidden. And put some glue here. Let's put that there. I'm gonna tuck this kind of like we had it before, kind of like that. I kind of like that. And so let's do that. Pick that up. So we're just gonna put glue here. That'll hold it. Like that. And then, let's pop this up first. Let's get some foam, pop that up. Showman. I have to cut that down just a smidge. There. I kind of liked it the other way. I haven't committed it yet. <laughs> I haven't pressed in. I like that. Maybe. Well, that's the way it's gonna go. <laughs> that's pretty, right there. All right, let's get some glue on this. Some glue in the back. Yes, yes, yes. And I am gonna trim that, because I don't want that. Just cut that off. And that looks really nice, just like that. I like it. So we'll just put this kind of up and over here, like so, on our card. That's really pretty. Our other floral <coughs> cluster is going to come over here. And I kind of want this to go this way. And perhaps maybe... decided that's where it's going. <laughs> yes, that's where it's going. And sometimes if you know me, I, I'm okay with going off the card. Sometimes I think we get stuck in A2 um, mindset and we don't need to be stuck in A2 mindset. Um, it's okay to, to not. It's okay to go outside the lines. Whoops, I didn't press that down. Now we're gonna go ahead and get that off there. And come on. There. Tuck that over.
love it a lot. Yay. Okay. Yeah, that, I think that is still wet. Yeah, it's still very wet. I'm going to have to take a heat tool to it. All right. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's do our stamping. Ooh, that would be pretty. Where would... Mm. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> Let's do some stamping. I wanted to show you something with this. Um, a couple of things. We have these all new eraser sets and they are stamp conditioners. They help with solid images like this. The leaf is also a semi-solid, especially on, it is a, a solid image. So what you do is you just basically just rub it on there and then I take a baby wipe and I wipe it off because yes, it is an eraser. And yes, you have little bits that are left on your stamp. I'm gonna show you that. A little tip, don't, don't rub this on because you'll get all of this on your stamp. Little tip, so use the back side to condition. And where are my baby wipes? I'm gonna show you those little bits. You can see them on there. You see that? It's like an eraser. But you're going to clean it off. You're just going to wipe that down. Wipe it away. It comes off. It cleans off very nicely. You can actually even use um, a microfiber cloth after you're done. But Mine's back in the office and I'm not running to get it, so I'm just using my fingers to wipe it down. And cleaning it off, making sure there's nothing left on the block or on my. So there it is. And you're going to get a cleaner image. I wanted to show you some of my other. that my before, this was before I conditioned the stamps, it's splotchy. And then of course, you see how smooth that looks after you condition them, a much smoother image. Actually, I think this is the, this is the same, this one is the same stamp. So no blotchy images at all. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's get some paper and let's stamp our flower. So we're going to do this background. We're going to do an apricot. We're going to go with the darker because my two smaller ones are with the buttercream in the background. So we're going to go apricot. I'm going to stamp. Okay. Then we're going to go with polished. Now, here's a little, another little tip. Where did my stamp set go? This is my image. Catherine Pooler has um, created it in the same direction. It's, as it's printed on here, that's the same direction that your top goes. So if you move it to the exact position that that top one is in, um, you should be good to go. So here, here it is, same position, and it will line up nicely. So we're going to take this one, we're going to press it into bit polished, which is the same color as our ribbon. Bring it down closer to me so you all don't have to see my, my head. Yeah. There, that's better. Turn it a little. I'm going to go for it. Oh. I'm going to go back over it. We may have to redo this one, folks. I can't see. 
I'm coming back over this way towards me. Hey, hi, food lover. <laughs> I'm gonna do this off screen because I can't see all the way over there. I need some better light. I'm gonna try to restamp it. Sometimes it doesn't work very well. Oh, it wasn't flat, that's why. I don't know about this. Yeah, that's a no. <laughs> Let's restate it. Where's, there it is. Let's do this again. Sometimes it happens. I need to ink that up better. And plus, the other thing is that we did not, um, we inked that up, so we did, we soaked up a lot of ink. And I have not inked up this pad ever, so it could be partly because of that. So I do see that I have more ink around the edges. And where is that? Let me see. So we want this to be this direction. See, I'm looking at it, it needs to be that direction. And this little piece right over here lines up with it, just like that. Okay. It's also the first time I've used this stamp. Maybe it'll be better now that I've used it three times. And honestly, folks, if you don't have it perfect, I think it'll blend just fine. And that is going to, I'm gonna have other flowers on top of that too, so it'll be fine. I'm gonna let it be. Let that sit for a minute. And what we got going on here. Um, once it soaks into the paper, it actually looks a whole lot different. So we're gonna, I'll let you watch that magic happen. It's kind of cool. <laughs> what should we do? Should we dry? I think we should dry that. So we're gonna dry this. So let's, let's set this here, move everything else out of the way, and I go get my heat tool. See, look at this again. I leave this undone all the time. All right, move this out of the way so we don't get it. heat tool will reach. Let's see if we can get it to reach. Well, we're going to try. I don't want to burn our paper towel. I think I'm going to use my scissors. Because we don't want it to blow on me or anything else. And ruin anything. Stop. Come on. Come on. All right, let's do this. Let's hold it down with the scissors. How's that? Let's just hold that here. So, let's try it 
try this. I guess we'll find out from my hands. <laughs> Are you on? <laughs> you're on. Yeah, I'm on. All right. Oh, that's a pretty color. And I think we are good. I think we are. Really pretty. Okay. I'll wipe that down. double-sided tape on the back so we can catch. We're almost done, folks. We're almost done. I gotta get those leaves stamped too, though. I'll show you that here in a sec. So there's that. I use a little extra so that I can make sure I got it in the right spot. I need. I do want to make sure, I just want to double check and make sure that it's dry because otherwise it's just going to get be awful if it's not. Nice thing about this mat is that it takes the heat. And it's still got some red spots. Sneaky little thing. <laughs> um, one way to avoid this is to use water. Um, then you're not worried so much about the saturation of it. And when it's dry, it's dry. So I think. Um, come on, be done. I'm going to give it one more dry after this. So our card is definitely, our ribbon is definitely not dry yet. I just need to get this background on. Let's go. Let's dry this one more time. Let it. Okay. I'm going to peel this up and put this down. just a little higher. OK. 
touching the edge of that, or maybe just that, yeah, just the very edge. Voila, now we have ribbon. Okay. And it's a little sticky. Okay, so that has lightened up quite a bit. It's pretty. Um, now let's do our leaf. I didn't leave myself in the room, so I have some more cardstock over here to do that. Okay. Just do this. Where's my green? Okay, so we're gonna do, um, wait, we have, we have, let's do it, background of matcha. And then we'll, it's a little stamping matcha. Just getting it around the edges where it's usually more saturated around those edges. Stamp. Eh. And this one needs to be inked up too. Let's see if I can get it back in the same spot. Yay, good enough. And now we're gonna do skylight. It's artsy, folks. It's kind of one of those sets that very forgiving. <laughs> now let's run this. We're going to run this one through. And where's my dies? On the back side. <clears throat> Thanks for hanging with me, you guys. This is. A, I did a lot of prep work on this, but it's also a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff going on in this and there it's not <laughs> where where is that it I think we have it now sometimes it's hard to figure out <clears throat> Do we have it now? I think we do. <laughs> Hold my mouth straight. I'm going to take it over and die cut it. I'll be right back. I forgot to bring my little mini out here. I normally have that, but I forgot to bring it over here. Good enough, right? Now let's, where's that? Let's go like this. Did I get the wrong? I did grab the wrong guy. a little easier. All right, 
I'll be right back. You're a stinker. <laughs> yeah. There's that. How I wonder how this one turned out. This one was a little harder to die cut than the other flowers. The other flowers weren't so bad. Ah, perfect. Make sure my hands are clean because there it is. Okay. My, hand, my pants are black. I guess I can wipe them off on that. Here we go. Woo -woo. Let's see what we have here. Let's do. Just gonna kind of put a flower there, maybe, or bring this over a little more. Let's put this on dimension. Oh, are you laughing at me? No. No? No, I'm not laughing at you, babe. I'm laughing at you. Are you? No. You're laughing at something else. <laughs> I know you're in a staff meeting again. Folks, maybe that's not where I really wanted it. I think I wanted it over here. No, there we go. Let go. Oh, I'll have to do something there, I think. Could put a gem there, couldn't we? I kind of I might I peeled it up a little. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? I'll put a gem there. Because I feel like that's too much to put it there. I feel like these should connect somehow. Maybe even back like that. Yes, I like that. Let's do that. Hi, Jackie. How are you? So if you're on here and you're silent and you're not a crafter, if you've ever received a homemade card, you now know all the love and thought that goes into a homemade card. I think I need a boo-boo and I'm gonna have to fix it with, did I fix, oh, maybe. Ooh. I think I smoothed it over. I had some glue on my hands and it smoothed it over. I think we can catch it with a gem now. Let's see, once we get this down, I'll do that. I don't know why, but in my head, the song, you know, the, is that Whitney Houston that sings, Save It All My Love For You? 
Whitney Houston, is she the one that sings Saving All My Love for You? And I'm saving all my love. You better be careful. Oh, yeah, I better be careful. I know. But isn't that, is that Whitney Houston that sings that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. Who sings that? I don't know why, but the sending my love is making me think of that song. I'm going to just put a gem on it. I'm going to stop messing with it and just put a gem on it. And that makes me think of another song. We're always thinking of songs over here. I'm just layering this the way I think that this is going to look good, folks. That's basically how I'm doing this. All right. Should we do some more leaves over here? Whitney Houston. I was right. Mm -hmm. 12 years ago. Do we have two of those? No, that was different. Wow. Mm. It is. I don't even know if this is all going to fit on my card, you guys. <laughs> right. It's too bad that she's not reaping the benefits of the seven, seven one million views. I know. It's sad. Yes. Shelly says it's Whitney. Hi, Shelly. Yeah, it is Whitney. Yeah. Okay. I might actually just kind of. Y'all, I am such a perfectionist, and honestly, it's even silly that I'm. Okay. So let's let's do this after we get this down on our card front. Because we are ready for our card front now. So this is going to go right like so. And we can't forget that we have a white border around our card. So sending my love. It's going to kind of go so, sort of like that. Maybe we should stick this up and it should go to the top. A little, maybe even up over the top. And this can go right even with this ribbon. Right? Kind of right there on, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that idea. So I'm going to need a little bit of dimension behind there. Just a smidge. So that's going to have to go right there. Because, yep, we want it to go right there. This is going to go up here, and then our flower is going to go there. And let's do this. Let's put this down. We're going to glue it. It's happening. And here it goes. Let's bring it over so we have room for our, our floral over here. Because we're going to put this here. Going to kind of Maybe just a little. Yes. Yes. Let's glue this down. I don't know. I don't even know if I re it really even needs a bow. Honestly. I think it's got enough going on it. So, just going to go like right there. Straight across. Holding it down. And then our floral is going to go just like this. You're fine. <laughs> uh huh. That's a male. That's a male thing, isn't it? Just like that. 
so that some of our ribbon peeks through. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that, just like that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this part down here needs some double-sided adhesive, or foam adhesive. You are quite pleased with yourself, aren't you? Put that. Is that the right? Is that was that right? Yes, it was. I'm gonna do that. Yes. So pretty. Let's just do the double sided adhesive. Some more. Nah. I think that should catch it. Oh, I like that. I really like that. You want to close up? For joining me here yay all right honestly I don't think it needs it and even I think maybe even the butterfly might be too much I mean we could do the butterfly here but it might be too much so I'm gonna bring it up closer so you can see Um, you want to vote yes or no on the butterfly? Maybe the butterfly here. Yes or no on a butterfly? I'm not even sure where I would put it at this point. Ooh, that kind of. No butterfly. I'm kind of feeling that too. No butterfly. It's, it's, there's a lot going on in this card. There's a lot of patterns and, um, yeah, I kind of feel that way too, Shelly. No butterfly. Let's just lift that. And I think, yep, no on the butterfly. Everybody's voting no. Let's see. I'm going to put a gem here because this is going to drive me crazy. Y'all know how I am, the perfectionist in me. And there they are. I'm gonna fish out something here. Let's see what I can find. What do you think? I should have done this before I put the glue down. Ooh, that's cute. That little flower right there is really cute. Yes. And we'll put one. <laughs> you said yes, because everybody else said no. <laughs> Let's put one here. Oh. Glue there. Honestly, it's probably just fine. You know what? I'm going to let it be. It's just fine. It's just a little tiny tear, and you can't really, you just really can't even tell. It's just fine. I'm going to let it be because I don't even know if I like the gem there. It just kind of stands out too much to me. You know how that happens when you, um, when you have something you feel like it's just standing out too much, only I know that that's there. I think it's just fine. So, leaving it. It's just staying. Oops, I'm gonna let that be. Go over there. And here it is. Probably should not have done that. It might seep through to the other side because that is a dye ink. Let's not do that. 
you don't want that wetness on the other side. We just want it. Let's just do this. Let's put some double-sided tape on that and call it, call it good. All right. We're preventing bleeding to the other side of the cardstock is what we're doing. I don't know if you understand what I'm doing here. I have some double-sided tape and it's not sticking very well because it's wet. Yeah. See that? Bad choices. <laughs> this is what happens when you make bad choices. <laughs> Did you try to put a butterfly on? No, 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 uh-uh. I made a bad choice. I put the glue on the ribbon and... I thought you were watching you. Okay. Okay. All righty. Let's put, let's try again. Actually, I'm going to put a glue dot. You're good. Thank you, Tech. That was very, that's very nice. We're gonna stick a glue dot there instead. Stay down. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, there it is. Now we have to put, <laughs> now we have to put glue on again because it's all dry. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh, I got a little red on there. That's not good. It's too far over. Let's move it this way just a smidge. I need to set it down. <laughs> Where? Where is there no red ink so that I can set it down? <laughs> Got it. Woo. Y'all, I'm going to have to set it on the table because <laughs> my, my mat has red ink and I don't want to ruin it. I did it. It's down. It's done. There it is. Yay. And see, I love how there's just that white edge around the card. It's so pretty. There it is. Yay. I did it. We're done. We're done. Thank you. All right, folks. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I appreciate your patience with me. I certainly do. Let's make sure I got it said hello to everybody that was here. Thank you for joining. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like, do you guys remember Romper Room where they shout out names? Yep. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to make sure I said hello to everybody, and I think I did if I didn't. Uh, thank you, Shelly. Thanks, you guys. All right. You guys take care and have a blessed rest of your day. Bless.